One of the focus areas of this government is going to be health. The National Rural Health Mission is something that they've been talking about. It's going to be a flagship scheme of the government. Now, the health policy in India has been around since 1947. It's been broadly the same policy with small changes. You, know, you have sub-centers for every 3,000 workers. Beyond, above the sub-centers, you have primary health centers, district-level hospitals, and then bigger hospitals at the top. This structure hasn't worked particularly well. If you look, to, look at the number of people who visit public health centers and avail of public health services, the trend is not very encouraging. What is wrong with the health policy? What are the changes that are required? What might this government be planning to do? To discuss some of these questions, I have with me Jeff Hammer from Princeton University. Jeff has been in India, lived in India, has studied the Indian health system for more than 15 years now. Welcome to the show, Jeff. Very happy to have you here and help us solve some of the puzzles that seem to be coming up and trying to understand what the government's health policy seems to be uh, shaping up as. Now, one of the uh, biggest questions that uh, comes to my mind when I think of what they are trying to do is that, you know, this came up, the present health policy has been around since the Bhore Committee report in 1947, 51. You know, the structure is the same. They, they've been doing, adding uh, more to it. And yet, when you look at the outcomes of this uh, uh, scheme and this infrastructure, then we see, for example, one of the striking things uh, that was seen in recent years is that more children are being born at home than uh, delivered by either midwives or nurses, public or private. You know, so there, there seems to be a movement away from this public health system. Even though be, the government is providing it free, people are not going and availing of these services. What is happening? Is there a fundamental flaw in this structure? Yes, I believe, I believe there is. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me here on the show. Um, the, uh, it's very interesting to visit with uh, secretaries of health in, in, uh, in various states around the country. So when you were at the World Bank, that's part of what you were doing regularly? That's what I did regularly. And we always hear about this pyramidal uh, system of, uh, with perfect referral up. Uh, and then uh, after waiting for a few minutes <laughs> while uh, this introduction gets, gets made, then we can get down to business as to, but where do people really go? <laughs> and how do we know that it's making an impact? And these questions are frequently much harder to, to answer. Uh, I think the problems in some respect are even worse than the way that you've described. It's not just that people are not going to health uh, centers when they're free, but we're not seeing much impact of having a health center nearby on health status itself. So some of the research that we've done, um, starting when I was in uh, the World Bank and continuing now, is that the very presence of a uh, public health center of any sort does not seem to be correlated. So you're saying that even when there is a primary health center or a sub-center nearby, it doesn't impact infant mortality. infant mortality or maternal mortality? Infant mortality for sure. Mater maternal mortality, uh, thankfully, is a relatively rare thing, so that's a hard one to, uh, okay, to, to but, measure. But, but certainly infant mortality, there seems to be no impact of having one nearby. But, but